It was supposed to be an interfaith concert to bring Christianity and Islam together. But when the Muslim Imam began his call to prayer, he was interrupted by a small woman in the balcony proclaiming that Jesus Christ is Lord of Germany and saying, I break this curse. She also invoked the name of Martin Luther and warned the audience that what was happening was a lie. The video went viral and this mysterious Christian lady became known on the internet simply as the brave German woman. It happened at the Memorial Church of the Reformation in the Rhineland city of Speyer, built to honor Martin Luther. This isn't just a church, it's a monument to the Protestant Reformation and a memorial to the spiritual transformation of Germany as a nation. And it was at this spiritual landmark that a Muslim imam was invited to give the call to prayer in a concert when the brave German woman, whose real name is Heidi Munt, heard about the event, she prayed. I was asking Jesus, I said, Lord, shall I go there? And I was, uh, so you know, when I have to drive one and a half hours, so I think about, is it worth to go or can others go? And so this is, uh, <laughs> I think, a human laziness, yeah? She grabbed her German flag emblazoned with the words, Jesus Christ is Lord and she went to the concert, still not sure what she would do when she got there. Till the Imam started with his shouting, I did not really know what to do. I had my thoughts, but I was not sure. I was just prepared for what God wants me to do. Then the Muslim call to prayer began, and Heidi said she felt something rising up inside her. I would call it a holy anger. And then I rose my flag, and I was proclaiming that Jesus Christ is Lord over Germany. Jesus Christus alleine ist Herr über Deutschland. Ich zerbreche diesen Fluch. And uh, by purpose, I broke this curse because he, uh, this Allahu Akbar, they say um, with it, only Allah is the Lord. Yeah, He is Lord. He is God. And the only God. And I broke this curse in this church and I broke it over my country. And she repeated the words of Martin Luther in 1521 after he refused to recant his faith in scripture alone. Here I stand, I can do no other. She was thrown out of the church. They should have thrown the Imam out of the church and not me, because I'm a believer in Jesus Christ, but he serves another God. This Allah is not the same God, and this is not the truth. This uh, Allahu Akbar, so I think uh, in general most of us know they use it when they kill people. This is for me, it's an, an worship to an idol. Yeah, to their God, the worship, and they bring this, bring this blood offering to their God. And when the Muslims call Allahu Akbar in a church, that means this church is not a church anymore, it's a mosque. With Heidi at the concert was Kamel and Marion. Before coming to Germany, Kamel lived in the Muslim world. And he told us that an imam has no place in a church. Islam is one of the reasons for persecution. Muslims have persecuted me. They don't want me to tell others that Jesus Christ is my savior. Marion belongs to an anti-Islamization group calling itself the White Rose, taking the same name as the World War II anti-Nazi resistance group, shown in the film Sophie Scholl, The Final Days. Islam is inhuman, the same as in the Nazi time. For me, personally, there is no difference. We want to show Germany and the world that we will not bow down to the slow Islamization of our country. Heidi knows that her first television interview could place her in even greater danger. People ask me, um, do you have fear? Are you afraid of the Muslims? And I only can say, no, I'm not afraid of them. I know my God, the living God of the Bible, can protect me as long as he wants. When my time is over, I will go to him. 
an evangelist by gifting, Heidi grew up as an atheist in communist East Germany, but now as a believer. Her burden and her ministry is for the spiritual rebirth of Germany. I feel I have to protect my country and my people. I'm only a little woman, but I feel I have to protect them. <laughs> Many people associate Germany with the Nazis, but Germany was once a base for world missions, sending missionaries to Africa, Korea, and to America. Heidi Munt is trusting God to do a miracle in what today is a very wealthy, and some would say, spiritually dead nation. Well, nothing is impossible for my God. Nothing, 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 nothing. From a human point of view, I feel that our country is lost. It's already lost. It's done. But uh, I trust God that he has a plan A and that my country is not lost, that he will reach us and he will come and uh, change the whole situation. Dale Hurd, CBN News in Western Germany.